As a parent of, of an autistic child, I just want to know why does occupational therapy benefit a child with autism? If you can please have a start. Yeah, see, the name itself suggests occupational therapy. The primary occupation of the child is play and that is affected in these patients like autism or any developmental disabilities. So we give like we give treatment through play activities, our main area, okay, the play. And we use this different type of activities to need to fulfill their needs and uh, from that they should learn something. Okay, yes. so we are giving some activities like uh, they, ha they have any sensory issues, they have any like uh, uh, behavioral issues also like we address these issues first and so that ultimately their attention, concentration, cognition and perceptual skills will in improve and then they can, it can be used in purposeful things and we are using the meaningful activities that task should be done and uh, ultimately the child's confidence will go on. Okay, I just want to know, um, is it only for children that you can use occupational therapy to help or is it also for adults with um, autism that occupational therapy will help? Yeah, we can use occupational therapy for adults also. So basically, the, as an occupational therapist, our primary domain is activities of daily living. So for a child or for an adult grown up with autism, because he, he may have sensory processing issues, uh, he may lack, uh, act, um, he may be lacking in activities of daily living. So we need to find out which sensory issues or sensory processing uh, affectations are present in a in a child or in an adult with autism. So accordingly, which part of activities of daily living is affected, we need to find out. And accordingly, we can plan out the treatment and we can plan out the purposeful or meaningful activity for a child or for a, for a grown up uh, person, so that he should be uh, at least his independence level should improve. Okay. Is there anything any of you would like to add? No, oh, uh, like uh, aerial functioning, uh, like. He said, uh, like, we focus even on the areas, like, you know, uh, in occupational therapy, sensory integration, again, it's a, a vast area, and training uh, the child for ADL is, again, a, you know, different area. So, once the child is uh, sensory-wise, uh, we can, you know, uh, child is stable and uh, he's cooperative, then we focus more on the ADL training part. Of it. Oh. And we, like, we teach them uh, adaptive techniques other than the normal techniques, which can be done accommodating their disability. What does IDL mean? ADL. Yes, yeah. what does the IDL These are the activities mean? of daily, daily living, daily. right from the so waking, the waking up the, in the morning till yeah. the sleeping uh, on the bed or whatever we do, right from the brushing. Okay, so yeah. actually occupational therapy includes since the, moon, since the moment you wake up and go yeah, to sleep, it's uh, a holistic are, therapy. Yeah, that are our primary occupation, our ADLs. Okay. Okay, so the, we'll treat the person, we teach the ADL and we are like focusing on the maximizing independence of the patient and we make the patient independent. Thank you very much.